Okay, Sir, Sir Jack is empowered today. So he's empowered. <laughs> but I'm going to be talking about novel coronavirus, okay? I'm here actually to uh, teach everyone, teach each and every one of you, and why you should not be afraid. Afraid, And everyone should be relaxed. So, wag mo kayo nervous, okay? So just recently, we had the first confirmed case of coronavirus in Phil. And everyone is sending me a message, Doctora, what can we do? They're all uh, scared. So, but what is coronavirus? Novel coronavirus. So, novel, novel it's because it's new. Mm -hmm. So, that's the reason why they, they use novel coronavirus. So, this is a new strain of coronavirus. The ones that have the same, the, the same virus that caused SARS, diba? I remember in 2003, mm -hmm. it caused also panic in Phil, diba? So, I can remember I was in uh, the hospital back then and they're all scared. So, Everyone wanted to uh, to wear masks, so medyo scary siya. But some wear masks just because they're yeah. KSP though. But uh, basically, it <laughs> came also from China. Yes. So this came from China. This one it came from Wuhan, Wuhan, China. So this, uh, according to a lot of um, news, they say that it came from a fish market. Mm -hmm. So, but then at that fish market, there were also they were also selling some of the wild animals okay so ang yari ho and domestic yung, animals yeah so ang nangyari was the virus jumped from one animal to another animal and eventually it landed in That's a person yeah so nagkaroon ng mutation but they were saying it was conflicting reports back then diba sabi nila it was from civet cat there were also reports that it came from bats. There were reports from bats, from cobras, right. from cats. Yeah, but eventually it was um, isolated in bats. Okay, so from bats, nagpunta po siya sa humans. And that it became very virulent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so medyo nakakatakot siya. But actually compared to SARS, SARS has a 10% fatality rate. SARS. So out of 8,000, if that's 10%, 800 will die. But this one, okay, this new based virus, upon based upon reports, it's actually only 2%, the fatality rate. So for typically it, those who are old or immunocompromised. Yeah, old, immunocompromised, pregnant, young children. So they are the ones that are really severely affected, okay? And if they will be affected, they would usually die because of um, acute respiratory syndrome okay para silang nalulunod yun ang nangyayari sa kanila but mm -hmm. don't be afraid now the thing is the most unique about this uh, novel virus novel coronavirus is that it is infectious during the incubation period during the incubation period they were saying it's two days mm -hmm. and some as as uh, early as one day one day to 14 days they are infectious so nakakatakot siya because some person they can actually you can contract the disease or you you are infective mm -hmm. uh, even if you don't have any signs and symptoms so you feel great wala akong nararamdaman and then <coughs> magugulat ka na lang yeah nakakahawa ka na pala so that's that's the most scary about it right yeah yeah but i will i will tell you a lot of practical ways why you shouldn't be scared and what you can do to protect yourself. So what you're not are the powerless. symptoms? You're not powerless here. Mm -hmm. You're not powerless and you don't have to be a victim of this. There's mm -hmm. many, many steps, again, that she's going to, to outline, uh, which can reduce your chance of mm -hmm. infection and in the event of infection to potentially help you. Mm -hmm. But these are viruses, okay? So when you talk about viruses, it's the same as viruses, rhinovirus, if you have uh, common colds, okay? Magkakapareho yan, dengue, mm -hmm. okay? Hepatitis. Which I had dengue, yes. and it sucked. Okay, so these are all viral infections. So when you talk about viral infection, these are self-limiting. So self-limiting means your body has to overcome it. Kaya pag pumunta ka, pag pumunta ka sa hospital, they will not give you anything. Most of the doctors, it, they will just prescribe you something to enhance your immune system. Like me, when I was still a practicing medical doctor in my, uh, in my country, when someone comes to me, they have a viral infection, we do not give antibiotics because antibiotics have no effect Zero. Okay, on a viral infection. So if someone gives you an antibiotic and you have a viral infection, you have to tell them, Look! Meron akong virus, meron akong virus. I don't have any bacteria. It does have any does have no effect 
on the body. So no one should be give you, giving you an antibiotic if you have a viral infection. That's like if you have a flat tire in your car and someone would stop and give you an umbrella. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. It doesn't really help. Okay, so the ones that would really help you is a strong immune system, okay? So that's the most important thing about all viral infection. They are, again, self-limiting. So it's very important to focus on uh, nourishing your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, very important yan. So the symptoms, again, it can vary. Mm -hmm. So some of them, you have cough, you would have fever, okay, some they would have colds as well. Nice and eventually, discharge, yeah, discharge. they would have difficulty of breathing. So hindi ko sila maka hinga. Okay, so they would go to the hospital. So now, okay, baka mamaya, <laughs> baka mamaya, maybe they would have cough, fevers, and cold. And then you said, Doc, I have coronavirus. <laughs> no, no. You have to be exposed to a person who came from China or who has been exposed to someone who came from China. Which that's actually another point I wanted to bring up because um, mm -hmm. you, the Philippines is a country of 100 million people. Mm -mm. And it's really shocking that in a country of 100 million people, there's not an infectious disease laboratory in that country that mm -hmm. can actually determine... Uh, people who have uh, the virus. Mm -hmm. the, those, those samples mm -hmm. actually have to be taken and then sent off to Australia mm -hmm. and then to wait for a response from Australia. <coughs> I mean, Secretary Duque, mm -hmm. get with the program. Seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, in the Philippines, you know, you can build a multi-billion dollar nuclear reactor that never goes online, You're right. but you can't build an infectious disease laboratory? Mm -hmm. Seriously? You can build a flagpole there in Manila that mm -hmm. was what? Millions, millions and millions of pesos, yeah. but you can't build an infectious disease laboratory mm -hmm. in the benefit of the public interest? Yeah. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Where are the priorities at? Mm -hmm. Get with the program, Secretary Duque. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope this will change their mind. I hope it will as well. This, I mean, is, this will not seriously. be the first. This will not be the last time. This, this is not going to be the last be time. And, and it's not going to be the last mm -hmm. time, you know, for example, that there's a disaster. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, here in the States, they have, you know, FEMA that manages disasters. Mm -mm. And Phil, every time there seems to be a disaster, the government over there is like, oh gosh, what are we going to do? Mm -mm -mm. Guys, get with the program. Mm -mm. Put together a, 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 a division of the government to handle these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, Sir Jack is Put the Filipino up, people up first. Again. <laughs> Put the people first for a change. Come on. Yes, oh, Sir Jack is fired up again. Okay. <laughs> so, we'll proceed. Okay. Mm, sorry. So, they are transferred, okay, the virus is transferred, okay, there's a human-to-human -human transmission, and this happens through respiratory droplets, okay. So, ano nagsasalita ka, okay? So, yung virus pwede pumunta doon sa saliva mo, tapos mapunta doon sa kabila, and then you can infect someone, okay? Also, it enters via the eyes. Kaya, pag nakikita nyo sila, di ba, doon sa YouTube... In YouTube, yep. usually you will look at what's happening in Wuhan. But they were all wearing goggles. Yep. Because there were also reports that says that it is transmitted through the eyes. So also, Which is why it's so important not to yeah, touch your eyes. So it's, If you've been around a crowd of people, don't touch your eyes, don't touch your face. So it's also uh, transmitted <coughs> through the nose, through the mouth. Kapag don't ram up. Nag I just have something in my throat. Sila. Something in my throat. I don't have coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. So, pag nag -ubo -ubo sila. So, it's very scary. Oh? Pero, but it's just the, the same as most of the viral infection. Same with measles. Measles, measles is also uh, transmitted through respiratory droplets, cough, cold. So, basically the same. Oh, hindi naman, there's really nothing exceptional with this virus, except that this is a new virus that we have not known yet. So, most probably some of the doctors there also, they do not also know how to manage. Hindi rin nila alam, kasi this is a new virus. So, we are all learning. So, we are learning with the medical community as well. So, but do not be overwhelmed, okay? So, we will teach you how to protect yourself. So, now, it's a WHO global emergency. Global health emergency, yeah. correct. And what do you mean by global health emergency? What I mean by global health emergency is uh, this is a significant warning to countries all across the world, mm -hmm. which is why, for example, countries like Russia mm -hmm. have closed their borders and canceled visas mm -hmm. across a 4,000-kilometer border mm -hmm. with China. You know, Mongolia taking, as well. They're taking Mong this very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, in the Philippines, it's mm -hmm. a little different. They're still, still allowing flights to come in from China. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, I'm not sure that's a really wise idea, mm -hmm. especially since, you know, obviously there's the incubation period and the uh, health officials from China have repeatedly said that uh, folks are um, infectious while uh, before they they're showing in signs the of infection. Period, so, uh -huh. you know, the thing is you, you, you have to try and do your best to limit this. You know, unfortunately, I think um, as far as Phil is concerned, it's a little bit too late right now mm -hmm. because they've allowed so many of those travelers to come in. So mm -hmm. at this point, the best that can be done, uh, is, you know, is it, you can't limit mm -hmm. the travel anymore. The best that can be done is for us to each take personal mm -hmm. responsibility yeah. to look out for our own health. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Also the, the, the health your of your community. And your, and your kids. Community, or not even the community, but the health of your family members. Yeah. Okay, so what are the practical tips that you can use, okay? So you can use herbs. So there are a lot of herbs. Marami pong herbs that has shown in um, research and that have antiviral, that have <clears throat> antiviral properties. Correct. And one of them is garlic. So Correct. garlic, amazing garlic. <laughs> Yun lang, if you're gonna use <clears throat> garlic, again, if you're gonna use herbs for medicinal purposes, you have to use them five to seven times higher than the normal. Okay, what is the normal for me? Ah, ang normal sa akin ho is one um, isang dakot. Okay, after that isang dakot, so five to seven times you have to drink them higher. Okay, so garlic is one of the best antiviral. Uh, herbs that are available out there. Ginger. Yeah. Which, by the way, mm -hmm. real quick, garlic has been scientifically demonstrated uh, in studies uh, to be significantly beneficial against uh, bacteria as far as, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, in, the viruses are concerned. So bacteria, that, that virus, is, and that is That is beyond, beyond question. Mm -hmm. Anybody that wants to argue that point, mm -hmm. bring it. Yeah, so garlic is one of the best antiviral. So, inumin nyo lang mo yan, o kainin nyo. That's three times, or you can eat it as many as you can, especially if you have it, okay? Another is ginger. Ginger also has an antiviral property. Turmeric, yan. Echinacea, oregano, and my favorite, honey and cinnamon. So, whenever my children have a viral infection, especially here right now in the U.S. because it's the flu season. Yes. Okay, so when you have the flu season, everyone is coughing, okay? Kasi malamig. <laughs> so, what, what usually happens is that they would come, come from school, my children, and then they would be coughing. So, the ones that I usually give them is honey and cinnamon. So, these are some of the herbs that you can use to enhance your immunity as well. So they have also anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. immune-enhancing <clears throat> properties, and also antimicrobial properties. So, pwede nyo mo siyang gawin, okay? And again, you can use mega-dose vitamin C. Correct. It's obviously yeah. vitamin C has been uh, demonstrated uh, to significantly immunomodulate your immune system. So. Yes. So you can take it one teaspoon, okay? But if you're feeling sassy, you know. <laughs> go higher. You can go higher, which is one it's tablespoon once a day. It's up to you. The problem is you will have diarrhea. That's the side effect of the mega dose vitamin C. One of the, but one of the best uh, yeah, basically just, you know, things that you can bowel do. It's a tolerance. You know? Yeah. Just so th those are very simple. And another one is Boston C, okay? Yan. They see so, it backwards too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so Boston C can also help you one teaspoon three times a day. Again, to uh, reiterate, you can use herbs, uh, Boston C, and mega dose vitamin C. Those are the things that uh, you can uh, use right now or you can drink to protect yourself. But what about the practical things? Well, some of the practical things you can do. I mean, mm -hmm. the thing is, will it hurt you to wear a mask? No. Mm -hmm. Can it benefit you? Yes. It provides a certain degree of, of protection, protection, but it doesn't provide 100%, okay? So even if you're wearing a mask, it doesn't provide 100% protection, okay? But the thing is, if you're going to be out with a lot of people, right. riding in a jeepney, at the mall, at the market, mm -mm. does it make good sense right now to wear one? Yeah, it makes it good sense. Yeah. You know, the thing is, 
Do we have to be faced with a significant pandemic to make mm -hmm. wise choices for ourselves? No, mm -hmm. no. Yes. And some people don't want to be KSP and wear a mask. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> but, but the thing is, it just makes good sense to do mm -hmm. it. It's it, it, like she said, it offers a level of protection. Mm -hmm. It's it's inexpensive to do. Mm -mm. And also, do not go to crowded places. Try okay? to avoid it. Try to avoid, Try to avoid going it. to malls, you know, to yeah. parties. And yeah. if you're not feeling good, and, you and, isolate yourself. I, and, and don't be so handsy with people for the time being you know mm -mm. don't be too handsy don't, don't be too touch, handsy you don't know hug. uh, hugging kissing all these kissing. different things yeah because uh, that's obviously a significant way to spread infection mm -hmm. close contact i mean if you have a chicken pox okay this is just with the chicken pox if you have a chicken pox okay what what is the first thing you do you isolate, isolate yourself. yourself yeah because you don't want anyone to be affected yeah, kissing all your relatives. Mom, yeah so i mean uh, if it was me, I have a chicken pox. I do. I will not go to crowded places. Correct. sa mga may concert because I know that I can infect them. Okay. When so, it comes to your utensils, they have to your your plates, your cups, mm -hmm. your, your forks, your spoons, all mm -hmm. these things. They have to be sanitized and mm -hmm. sanitized well. Otherwise, you have the potential of spreading. Okay. If you do happen to get infected. Mm -hmm. But what about the coughing etiquette? What is a coughing etiquette? Sir Jack, Sir Jack knows this. Coughing etiquette, if you cough, cough into your elbow like <coughs> like this. So Do not cough like <laughs> don't, don't be like <laughs> <laughs> all and over spit, everything. Don't, don't and spitting spit. everywhere. Seriously. You know, the thing is, if you have to cough, don't, don't spit on the <coughs> sidewalk. Don't, don't, don't spit around people. Would you like that if someone did it to you? You know, if, if you happen to see someone who's gacking and coughing and they spit in front of you, mm -hmm. are you gonna be? Are you gonna like that? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. So don't do it to other people. Just you know, be. Yeah. Let's, let's have some etiquette when it comes to one another. Be mindful, and then Just when you're mindful. gonna cough, you're gonna cough. You have to cough on a a tissue paper, preferably on a <coughs> tissue, and dispose them properly. properly. Do not dispose them. Yeah, everywhere. don't throw it on the ground. Yeah, dispose them off properly. You can also put uh, sanitation. You know. You sanitize. Also, your house. You have to sanitize your house. Time to clean Mag the house. Ka. Clean your house. Yes. So, you have to sanitize. You don't really necessarily have to use, um, if, if you don't have the money to buy um, some of the disinfectant, one of the best disinfectant is white vinegar. Mm -hmm. So, white vinegar po. As simple as white vinegar. Mm -hmm. So, put it in a... In a uh, in the surface that it's affected because some of the virus they can stay awake or not awake but they can uh, lie dormant dormant without right, a around uh, five days so two to five days pwede po yan. so they can spread so akala mo okay ka na, yeah, so ka think na. About so around two to five days tapos mahawakan mo yung yeah. naubuhan so basically so, mom someone could gack on the, the the side of the jeepney yeah you know three days ago Mm -hmm. And you you touch it. There's obviously a potential there, mm -hmm. a potential for transmission. For you, for yeah, to be transmitted. So ingat ingat. So cleanliness is very important. In Next fact, to godliness. Because we were actually talking about that, diba? Even the Israelites, Jehovah told them that you have to be clean. Okay, mm -hmm. they told him. They told all the Israelites how to dispose of their. Um, manure. So, pag tumatae sila, so, kailangan, uh, ganito ang gawin ninyo, you have to dig, and then you you poop there, and then you have to cover it. Even, they were also talking about washing. So, washing, how to properly wash the hands of infect one another. And mm -hmm. if we live in a community, even in here in the US, right, honey, in mm -hmm. the 1800, 1800, they do not practice, they do not practice proper they were not proper sanitation, sanitation not proper sewer systems and so such. they were just throwing their poop <laughs> on the street <laughs> in the street so and then everyone is getting sick so uh, eventually they were able to identify what was the reason why why people are getting sick back then and that led to a lot of uh, discoveries and a lot of procedures that mm -hmm. they had to follow to maintain cleanliness. So, very important. Maging malinis po tayo. Take a bath every day. <laughs> Some of us, we don't take a bath anymore. Okay? Proper hand washing. Diba? So, paano ba yung proper hand washing? How do you pro how do you wash your hand? Using so, both hands. Using palms, some sort of soap. Here. 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 Okay? Clean them well. 
Like this, kung mag-hand wash po kayo, ganyan. That's how you wash your hand, okay? Not necessarily with the, the most sophisticated soap. Just a, a, a soap soap and water. That's a, the basic soap and water that's very but take your uh, time. important. Take your uh -oh. time to do it right. Yes, okay? And of course, you have to cook food properly. Wag ko kayo kakain ng raw food. Especially Sir Jack. Sir Jack likes uh, raw food. Do you no, like not raw, food? but I like my steak a little rare. Okay, so it's not good because some of them, some of them, the virus might still be alive when you eat them. Not only virus, no? Probably it's also parasites. Some parasite and bacteria, especially with the eggs, they have salmonella. So, pag hindi nyo niluto yan, and there's a high probability that you're able to eat as well. Mm -hmm. So, it can... Uh, um, make you sick. So very important that you have to cook your food properly. Cook them properly. And wag kayong kakain muna ng wild a uh, wild animals. Don't eat wild animals. Well, you know what is the wildest food that you have? Wildest, the craziest food that you have ever eaten. That I, that I ever ate? Yeah. Craziest food I ever ate is uh, I was in Japan. This has been close to thirty years ago, mm. and uh, I got way off the beaten path. Mm. Um, with some buddies when I was in the service and uh, we went to a sushi bar where everyone was uh. drinking sake, eating sushi, watching sumo. And I, I pointed to what we wanted, told them how many we wanted, uh, and then uh, they got there and I didn't like it. What was it? It it's was a sushi. It was, it was a bunch of sushi. I, I, I can remember there was like a little, uh, little, Sir tiny, Jack doesn't like little sushi. tiny squid octopus thingy, you know, uh -huh. kind of still alive on my plate and I didn't like any of it. But this kid I was with, you know, he was from I think South Carolina. Uh -huh. Boy, he, he couldn't eat enough. Okay. He's like a he was like a, a shark tearing mm -hmm. through that stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, good. This is good. This is good. I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like stuff like that. But for all of the people there, okay, if you're fond of eating bats, don't eat bats, naman. <laughs> bats, sea vet cat, what else? Uh, so rats. cobra, rats. Okay, wag mo na kayo. Especially those mice. Types. Yeah, especially the rats. You know, they harbor. They're actually the one of the, the bubonic plague, if you're fam Cats. familiar with that. The one that wiped most of the European nation. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 10 million. That, A lot of people. That, that were killed because of the uh, bacteria. It's known as uh, um, Yersinia pestis. Uh, Yersinia pestis, which thrive in the in, uh, mouse back then. So mm -hmm. it almost wiped out the entire population of Europe. That's why they're also saying that this can be the next bubonic plague. I don't think so. <laughs> no, but the thing is, you know, let's not underestimate it either. Yes. You know, we, we don't want to go into a, into a panic mode, but the thing is we, mm -mm. we can't underestimate these things. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to basically make sure we take the steps as individuals to protect ourselves. We, mm -hmm. cannot, we cannot depend upon the government no. uh, to, to protect us. Do not, actually do not depend. You can depend in a certain degree. Oh. Ang gobyerno ho, they can offer some, some form of protection. Okay, but a little. Now, it's your responsibility as a human being, as a person, it's your responsibility to take care of yourself and your family. You're responsible for your health, yeah. ultimately. Lagi naman yun eh, You make the choices. It, your health is your responsibility. Mm -hmm. and you have to... You, you, know, you have to come to grips with that. You know, mm -hmm. you're you're not a victim. The vast majority of what happens to you are your choices. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, it's it's well documented. In fact, you could even it's funny. I found I even saw it on Wikipedia yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's something you've been saying for years that you know f only five to maybe ten percent maximum when it comes to cancers are genetic, mm -hmm. and the other you know ninety to ninety five percent are uh, related to environment. You know, the, the, our lifestyle, our choices, the the environment we live in. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is, again, I saw it on Wikipedia of all places. You know, they're, they're now even quoting that. So it's nice to see you once again validated, Mom. Okay. So now, next is you have to eat nutritious food. So kumain ho kayo ng mga pagkain na that is proven to enhance your immune system. Because mm -hmm. you are what you eat and what you absorb. Okay? So... That's that's the, that's really the the um, the rule in all the eating. So kung kumakain no kayo ng pagkain na uh, junk foods, o di ba? How can it enhance your immunity? So how, how can it protect you? So you have to eat foods that are rich in proteins. Yeah, kain po kayo ng itlog. Yan. Um you can also eat uh, mushroom. Yeah, that's my favorite. Mushroom. Lentils, yan. So, these are proteins. And also meat, okay? Mas maganda is organic. organic. 
organic meat. Yeah, that's the, the best. You can also eat foods that are rich in vitamin C again. So, chili. <laughs> sile. Yeah, lalo na ako, mahilig ako sa sile. Yeah, Sir Jack, I, I just, um, because I'm pregnant, so I'm, I'm yeah, trying Yeah, isn't that awesome? Eat, I'm trying to eat a lot of sili right now. Nagkakaroon po ako ng cravings with the sili. And sili has a high vitamin C content, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, one of the best things that uh, that you can uh, take in uh, pagka, pagka meron ho kayong uh, problems. Also with uh, garlic, onions, mm -hmm. yan. So basil, thyme, all of these herbs, they can actually help you uh, to enhance your immune system. Yan. Tea, yan. Kung mahilig po kayo sa tea, so the teas can help you also. Me, my favorite tea is uh, black tea. Black tea. Also, green tea as well. Mm -hmm. So, yung mga yan. Meron po mga properties that it can help you. Mga gulay, of course. Diba? So, alam na natin yan. And then, exercise. So, if you exercise, you increase your uh, lymphatic uh, system. So, your lymphatic mm -hmm. flow. Lymphatic flow is uh, better if you have, uh, if you exercise. So, do not forget to exercise as well. These small things... Uh, you think they are insignificant, but they really have a big impact on our body. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you, you know, you, these are the most important thing. And again, I want to reiterate about cleanliness. Correct. Man, so, maligo. <laughs> some of them, because some of them, they don't take a bath. So, here you have to take a bath, okay? Yeah, I mean, cleanliness. Go through, go through the steps again, very briefly again, Mom. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that people can do to prevent... Okay. Uh, you know, potential infection. Help prevent it. Okay. So, again, to um, um, to summarize, so you can use herbs. Okay. These are garlic, ginger, turmeric, oregano, honey, and lemon. They have antiviral properties. Megadose vitamin C, Boston C. Some practical tips is if you're sick, you isolate yourself. Do not go on crowded areas malls, parties, etc., you have to wear a mask. Now, I'm seeing people here commenting, what is the best type of mask? They're saying, there's a, there's one who says it's N95 or something. <laughs> okay. Any. Okay. Any. This is, I, I do not advocate any mask, okay? Any brand, so, any particular type. Yeah, but it's whatever for, you can get. Any any uh -oh. one that you get is going to offer you some degree of protection. No, just a, just a plain cloth or handkerchief. They are okay. Okay, just do like this, okay? So, I can't hear you. She said just do like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the plain handkerchief, that's already okay. So um, I'm not going to say what type of uh, mask, okay? Just make sure that it's properly covered the and nose the most important is the nose the mouth and the eyes they're properly covered because i told you there are some research that says that the virus can also go inside the mouth uh, the eyes mm -hmm. so very important and you have to wash your hands well again, wash them well using soap and water do not kiss hug or anything that is a uh, hug kiss anyone who is sick if you're out in public, have, avoid touching your eyes and yeah. face. So, you have coughing etiquette. So, how do you cough? Again, you cough. How, Sir Jack? Mm, like okay. this? Or into a tissue? Mm -mm. You have to eat nutritious food. And you have to cook your food properly. So, relax. Don't panic. Relax. Don't, don't panic. panic. <laughs> <laughs> so, those are the things. And I hope that you enjoyed the, our discussion again of the novel coronavirus okay just in case that you will be one day hopefully wag naman so you will encounter a novel coronavirus just uh, stay away from them yeah okay so I, yeah i want to say hello first okay to miss helen gelen almaida fronda who is watching today i saw a terabunch Team i saw mini Obeso. canada yes so, Evelyn Villafranca Guevara saying hello to us. And Ara R. Samirgan. Margie B. Yes. Lily Lorica Trapene and Grace Moreno. Yes. Shane Manalese. Yes. Beatrice Bia. Hello. Thank you. She's saying. And I, uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Mimi saying hello. And hey, Mimi. Yes. 
I miss you already. So, R.C. Gonzalez Almonte is watching today. And Joyhan Nedua Galina. Thank you, Joyhan. Yes. I'm yes. looking forward to the new member of the fam or Yeah. Member. Member. Yeah. Member. So, Erica Mejos. Yes. Johan Gomez. Hello po. Annaline Corilia. Willie Leia is asking, constipated, what can he do? If you are constipated, again, the most basic is you have to increase your fiber intake and your water intake. But some people, even if they have done all of this, they're still constipated. Yes, so right. one of the best that you can one of the best that you can do is you have to drink a lot of magnesium. Magnesium can help. And also mega dose vitamin C if you increase the dosage of it one tablespoon um, uh, once a day or all throughout the day you can drink it and then you will have diarrhea. That's very important. Huh. Shout out to Doc Mitch from Cebu and yes. like my my lovely sister Tara Bunch said yeah. for any questions that don't get addressed, uh, please join the cancer patient support group on mm. Facebook. Because uh, it's not just for cancer patients, it's basically any uh, health issues that you have, you can ask yeah. questions and get qualified answers. So, hello to my very good friend, Catherine Kelly. I miss you now, Ate Kati. So, uh, Nick Vargas is saying, hi, Doc, yung request ko, don't forget. Yes, sir, Nick, you just have to watch this. You have to ha watch this. So, uh, you will be... Uh, and guys, and share, share, share. Oh, share yeah. this video with everybody mm -hmm. uh, for the benefit of, of everyone. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the thing is, this is good evidence-based information mm -hmm. uh, that's going to help people. So mm, yes. share it and share it today and share it now. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Miss Mel Cibuyo Durant. Durant, Durant. <laughs> Mel Cibuyo Durant? Whoa. Yes. Okay. Congratulations for the new baby. Thank you, Pop. And May Lagayada Ortega saying hello po. Thank you so, for the information. Q&A, guys. Wait. Uh, I asked if malunggay powder can be helpful to boost immunity. Yes, they can help. Um, but in some, the majority that can really help you boost immune system is garlic, ginger. Those are the ones. Those are the basic. And echinacea. Mm -hmm. Basic herbs that can help you. Okay. So, Victoria Alexi Marie Lopez is watching right now. Hello, mm -hmm. Bo. And to my best friend, Josfer. Hello, Josfer. I miss you. Where can you buy products <laughs> in the Philippines? Uh, you can, one of the thing, places you can go is bostonc.ph. Or drfara.brilliantskinessentials.ph. So, or well, private message, brilliant. Bostonc.ph will redirect to that page. Yes. Or private message, uh, brilliant, jamay. So, Bebe Prev is saying, thank you for all the mga payo. Salamat thank you, John Arsenal. Mga payo. Yes. So, Melinda Ojeda de Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Pudok. So, again, I want to reintroduce my new product it's lightning in a bottle it's awesome so this is uh an organic hundred percent organic multivitamin non -GMO, and multi vegan friendly mineral. paleo friendly yeah so this can uh these are all derived from plants okay unlike some of the multivitamins out there this one is actually derived from plants so from kelp spirulina organic vegetables and natural vitamin c it also has probiotics uh, mushroom extracts from um, mm. rhodiola root. Oh, it's it's very packed. So uh, I, I don't know if you can see it, but Ching, it's in my website. Ching here was just saying, uh, not hoarding napodito ng maga face mask and sell it as high as two thousand pesos know. for fifty pieces, yeah. which is wrong. To do. It, it it only provides a certain uh, a degree of protection. It doesn't provide 100% protection. But do we recommend it? Yeah, we recommend we it. We recommend having face masks. But if you do not have any money, don't be uh, don't be fooled by a lot of people. Sobra naman. Imagine 500 uh, pesos to buy a mask. And it can go as much as 1,000, I think. So you can just use a simple, just cover your mouth with a cloth. Make sure that it's all, it's covered the nose and the mouth. Mm -hmm. So cover them, but the eyes, even the eyes as well. Yes, okay. um, Arboleda Quinez C G. Yes, you can, mm -hmm. despite the fact you had a total thyroidectomy. Okay, so Jessica Anderson is asking reactive adenopathy po. Anong herbal supplement po pwede for reactive adenopathy? Garlic, ginger, also alagao, so they can 
they can help you. Nudge, nudge, at least po hindi naman mahirap hanapin ng herbs na may antiviral. Yeah, that's the best thing. Because, uh, nandyan lang sa tabi-tabi, pwede, pwede rin ho kayo ang magplant. O, kayo na ang magtanim para sigurado. Kasi some of the plants, diba, merong mga nilalagay din ng mga pesticidyo. So, mga uh, fertilizers, chemicals. So, we don't want that. So, pinakamaganda is, madali lang naman magtanim. Wag ko kayo magalala. There are several, if you do not know how to plant garlic ginger, uh, talo na if you wanna go into uh, beekeeping. Ang dami ngayon sa YouTube, oh. You can also mm -hmm. go to University of the Philippines. They will help you. Mm -hmm. Very, very important mm -hmm. that uh, we have to be self-sufficient. Kailangan, kayang-kaya natin yan. Sufficient tayo on our own. Yes. How to prepare garlic and ginger? Garlic and meat raw. Or you can eat them prepared. raw. You can eat them raw. Or kung ayaw mo, pwede mo siyang if, uh, ferment using um, honey. Honey vinegar, pwede rin yan. So, then you take them one tablespoon three times a day. Yes. How can you order a pixie dust and vitamin C? You can go to drfara.com. So, it's all there. Or in our authorized distributor. So, kung, if you missed all of that, you can watch our video again. In front, I always, uh, I always um, enumerate all of the names of the distributors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, th uh, thank you, Team Obeso. Thank you very much. Okay, for cluster headache, Che Garvey is uh, asking. For headache, of course, the best is uh, garlic and ginger as well. Ayan, yan ang ating uh, favorite herb right now. And also pixie dust, uh, if you have some form of cluster headaches. Very important. All right, Mom. Mm. Uh, what to take for Graves' disease? Underwent radio iodine already, but hyperthyroidism came back. What wow. <laughs> That's very rare. Usually, if they have uh, radioactive um, iodine already, they, they, uh, some of the, the thyroid uh, cells will die. But it's very rare that they will come back as hyperthyroidism. But if that happens, you can take cabbage juice. Cabbage juice and po. Yeah, you drink it three times a day. Very good for hyperthyroidism. Yeah. Yes. So, Leslie Baze is saying, Ang tatay ko po ay bedridden na dahil sa gout. For gout, you can use baking soda. Baking soda, parsley, yan, cranberry juice, they're all good. And of course, you have to ch uh, change the diet. So, huwag na siyang kakain masyado ng uh, foods that are uh, rich in uh, proteins. Okay. But me, because I also, sometimes I also have uh, arthritis. The one that really upsets me is the mungo. If I eat tons of mungo, oh, the next day, masakit na yung mga kasukasuan ko. So you have to be sensitive if you have gout. You have to identify because not all proteins can uh, elicit a flare-up. <clears throat> so, tingnan mo, tingnan mo din. So, mamaya pwede naman pala siyang kumain ng munggo. So, pwede mo siyang bigyan ng munggo, okay? Just be careful. Andrea, I know Jennifer asked, Dr. Ofera, ask ko lang po ano po ang pwede inumin in kuya ako kelm cancer po stage 4. Please recognize mm -hmm. me. For stage 4 colon cancer, you have to identify if there's some form of blockade. Kasi most of the colon cancer, diba, usually they cannot poop anymore. Or if they have a colostomy or what. You have to take care of the food first. So, kung merong form of blockade yan, you have to, uh, you have to give the patient some food that will not block. Kasi may mga pagkain talaga na nakaka-constipate. Like me, if I eat banana. If I eat banana, I will be constipated. So you don't want them to be constipated. You want them to poop as many as uh, they can. Mm -hmm. Kasi usually, pagka nako-constipate yung mga yan, sasakit na yung chan nila, diba? So be careful when it comes to the food. And if you can, you can blenderize them, the food. You can also, when it comes to herbs, guyabano, guyabano leaves. They're the ones that I really recommend for a stage uh, 4 um, colon cancer and any types of cancer for that matter. Another is Boston C. Boston C, one teaspoon three times a day. Mega dose vitamin C, one tablespoon once a day. Pixie dust, yes. So again, the doctor shake, if uh, there's some form of malnutrition, the doctor shake can help you. You just put a lot of eggs on it, usually three eggs, one scoop of doctor shake, virgin coconut oil. 
Uh, you can also throw in their Boston Sea Pedder in your, and then you drink them three times a day. Hannah yeah. Valente asks, Ako dog to ma ask sugar anong nag stop ako ang hormones and gay diabetic napo ako nan. Hope you read Dr. and Sir Jack. Mm hmm. Uh, blood sugar went up. So you can use uh, for blood sugar serpentina, bitter gourd. I was just studying about that bitter melon. Mm -hmm. So uh, particularly the fruit, the fruit can actually help improve the blood sugar. And in some studies that they did, it actually lowered the blood sugar, the bitter melon. So just eat that. Also chromium. Chromium is one of my best mineral. If you have uh, diabetes, also change your diet. Alam mo naman na, na pag diabetic ka, tataas ang yung blood sugar pag kumakain ka ng asukal. So don't eat foods that are sweet, okay? And sugar or anything that is converted to sugar. I Very a, important. I have a quick question as well. Um, get ready. You need to have a PayPal account to win this because I'm not sending Western Union. Uh, there's a new Batman movie that just went into production. Who is playing Batman? <laughs> Who will be playing the role of Batman in the movie that just went into production? First answer wins 5,000 pesos. So, Team Obeso is asking about clogged uh, arteries. Okay, for clogged artery, arteries or atherosclerosis, what you call them, the best thing is garlic, ginger, and apple cider vinegar. That's very good. So, you can mix all of them and then take one tablespoon three times a day and also change your lifestyle because most of these diseases really are lifestyle in origin, no? Diba? So, huwag ka nang kakain ng masarap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's the winner? I don't have a winner yet. Okay, so Sir Jack new, is asking. New Batman movies in production. Who will yeah. be playing the role of Batman? Okay. 5,000 pesos. Okay. So, someone is asking you about... you have a PayPal account. Myocardi myocarditis, Jenny Kudal Padoginog, myocarditis. So if you have myocarditis, pixie dust can help. Karen Andriob. Wow, Karen Andriob said it's Robert Pattison. She okay. is correct. So he went from playing a vampire in the Twilight series, he will be playing Batman in the upcoming no. Batman movie. So you won again, Karen. So you won twice today. Yeah, so congratulations. Wow, big time. <laughs> Okay, no, not mali, mommy, mommy Josephine, Ate Josephine Castillon Amodio said, Christian Bale. Said, no, no, not anymore. You and so, McGregor, nope. So if you have myocarditis for two years old, pixie dust will help you. So just, uh, it depends on the weight of the person. You said it's two, two years old, most probably it's one, uh, one four teaspoon once a day, so you can take that. So, makakatulong po yan sa kanya. And honey. Honey, honey, lagyan nyo na lang po ng garlic kasi hindi na masyadong masarap. And then you let the baby drink it. And I hope uh, the baby gets better soon. Yes! And again, so, guys, share, share, share this video. Yes. Uh, so, as, as La Arnie the Meneses. Helpful tips. And I'll, I'll have one more question here in a okay. few minutes. La Arnie Meneses Perez. Hello. Yes. Lori Garcia, yeah. no, you did not win. <laughs> <laughs> Arnel Piquero Reeves, no, you did not win as well. Uh, at the test, mm -hmm. to avoid gouty flare up, is apple cider mixed on water advisable? Yes, you can also. You can also do that at the, at the test. Pwede yan, okay. So, yeah, Comisol, no. Yes, you won. You won. I know, she did not win. It was a different one who won yan, Karen. Yes. Karen and Rioba. Okay. That's why I have to take a picture, guys, to see who, uh, who got it first. Okay. So, again, if you're interested, I just want you to um inter interested about the Dr. Farah products, please mm -hmm. visit us at drfarah.com. Or in Philippines, bostonc.ph mm -mm. or Essentials.ph. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Uh, bostonc.com, amazon.com, Gilmatani, Nick Vargas, Butchoy Amor, Butchoy and Amor. Miss Elizabeth Sandy. Elizabeth and Sandy. we are still looking for distributors. Mm -hmm. Okay? So thank you very much. Do you have one more oh, question? Oh yeah, correct, Annie, correct. Before? Yeah, the, the answers may come in at different times like my sister Tara had just stated. Uh, but the first answer that shows up correctly in the news feed, mm -hmm. that's where I snap the picture okay. and take it. So uh, a lot of people answered, but you know, it's the first answer I see. Best natural cure for melasma, pwede po ang um, lemon. Yeah, you can just pahid lang po ninyo. Yan, okay na po yan. 
So that's it, Ani. Well, then I have one more question for 5,000 okay. pesos. Sir Jock has one and more you, question you need before to have, we say goodbye. You need to have a PayPal account because I don't do Western Union anymore. Not now, not ever. Okay? So, who was the original writer slash creator, the man credited with, are you ready? The Star Wars franchise. Mm, that's easy. So Nick Vargas is saying about the dosage, again, uh, mega dose vitamin C, there's dosage at the back. Yes, always follow that because that's what the FDA has always recommended. Mm -hmm. But uh, if, uh, if for a certain type of ailment, you can do for the mega dose vitamin C, one teaspoon or one tablespoon once a day. Boston C is one teaspoon three times a day. Pixie dust is one teaspoon once a day or three times a day. And lightning in a bottle, one capsule once a day. But always follow the label as well. Uh, stage What's four. The label? Stage four. There you go. Mm -hmm. Nancy Quiring Ferreras. Yes. Nancy Quiring Ferreras. I'll be contacting you after the video uh, because you just won 5,000 pesos. Okay. So thank you very much for uh, staying with us. So sa lahat mo ng mga nanonood, stay safe. Bye-bye.